everyone, this is Joe Pina. Thank you for tuning in. Today I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about safety culture and really understanding how to define safety culture and where are you in your safety culture. And one of the really good tools out there to help you with that is gonna be the DuPont-Bradley curve. So let's spend some time walking through what that looks like. Now, little disclaimer, I am not an illustrator. I'm a safety professional and a darn good one. <laughs> but I will try my best to illustrate this graph, okay? Now there's a few YouTube videos uh, out there that could be useful, uh, but I will try my best. Here we go. All right, starting with the y-axis. So here we have injury rate. And the goal is to have a low injury rate. Actually, the goal is to have no injuries, right? We don't want any of our people getting hurt. On the x-axis, we have culture strength. So obviously, if you start going in this direction, you have a stronger, healthier culture. The first stage here on the DuPont-Bradley curve is going to be the reactive stage. And minor correction, <laughs> it's not a bar graph. First mistake, it's a curve. <laughs> so here we go. Reactive stage. And what is a reactive culture? So in a reactive culture, what you have is people looking out for their safety more out of instinct. People don't want to get hurt by nature, right? So they look out for their safety just because of instinct. Now, the other piece of this here in a reactive culture is the fact that there really isn't management commitment, which is critical to a safety and health program, right? So no management commitment. Another piece would be no formal program. Certainly no formal safety and health program. It's based more on responding, right? Responding to incidents. This is not a stage where you want to be if you want to have low incident rates or low injuries. It is not conducive to a healthy safety and health program. You want to evolve from that reactive stage into a dependent stage. Dependent stage. Now in the dependent stage, there is a stronger emphasis on compliance. So you must be safe because we want to comply with XYZ, you know, OSHA, for instance. So there's a strong emphasis on compliance. There's typically a safety department. Uh, usually there's management commitment as well. Management is invested in safety, but again, you're talking about a compliance approach, a, uh, a strong emphasis on complying uh, with rules and regulations. Not much effort from the individual. It's more of a follow mentality. I must follow the rules because if not, I could be punished, et cetera, et cetera. Again, we wanna grow from this stage here to, oh goodness. I'm not really doing well with my curves here. Let's try it again. Ah, blah, blah, blah. okay, here we go. I told you it's not my strength. I'm not an illustrator. <laughs> okay, so here we have the, uh, what we call the independent stage. And this is when you start entering into a more proactive culture. In the uh, independent stage, there is, a, uh, there is an emphasis in working safely because you want to work safely. I want to work safely because I want to go back home to my family. 
I want to have all of my fingers, all of my toes, both of my eyes. So there's a strong individual sense of safety. The, uh, the associate, the worker, they comply with safety, not just again because of a compliance requirement, but more importantly because they want to work safely for their own personal benefit. And I think this is a pretty good stage to be in. I would say most companies go back and forth between the dependent stage and the independent stage. You fluctuate between those two. Now, where we want to be, I'm going to use purple because I like purple. I'm going to work on my curve this time. How's that? All right. So this is where we want to be. The interdependent stage. And this is where the magic occurs. This is where you have your associates working together to improve your safety culture. So teamwork. And this is a beautiful stage. As a safety professional, if you're able to witness the stage, I mean, it's just, it just makes you feel good. As a matter of fact, I had the pleasure of experiencing that at one of the companies that I worked for. I had worked very diligently on the safety program and I knew I had achieved success when I actually forgot to put, put on my earplugs when I walked the floor and an associate came and called me out and then they said, Joe, you don't have your earplugs in. And I said, aha, yay, good job. You caught me. That was my intent all along. But in reality, I had forgotten my earplugs, but I thought it was fantastic that this associate, this associate came over to me saw that I didn't have my earplugs and called me out on it. I mean, what courage to call out your own safety manager, right? So I felt pretty amazing. I mean, I felt like I had failed as a safety professional, not wearing my own PPE, but nevertheless, I thought it was fantastic that that particular associate came over to me and called me out. And that is where we want to be. We want to have team accountability. Accountability. So the question is, where are you? Where is your safety culture? Are you in the reactive stage? Are you in the dependent stage? Are you in the independent stage? Or are you in the interdependent stage? Again, this is where we want to be. In the interdependent stage, you have low injury rate, but you have high cultural strength. And that's the aspiration. And depending on where you are, which is why this is such an important graph, you can, you can decide what, what your next steps will be. Do you need to invest in creating a safety committee? Do you need to uh, really look at your metrics? Are you really evaluating the right things? Should you focus on leading indicators versus lagging indicators? So again, really knowing where you are can help you put corrective actions in place, a plan in place to improve your overall safety culture. <laughs> Not too bad. I think we did a pretty good job here. Uh, again, reactive, dependent, independent stage, interdependent stage is where we want to be. So, uh, thank you for spending a little bit of time with me today, looking at the uh, Dupont Bradley curve. And I hope you guys learned something today. If you have anything to add, as always, please leave me a comment and have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care. Bye.